closest uh, that's the closest Three, vote we've seen two, so far. Here we are going yeah. into game one. I'm surprised though. A, a lot of fans of Coco and Spyrox here. I think if you looked, you know, if, if you've been paying attention to Brahalla history, oh, whoa. you're probably thinking Simple and Heisen. They've was, been longtime <laughs> champions here, but Coco and Spyrox. Dude, the banana lands always they gets win. me when yeah, I see the banana lands. Oh, oh, okay, nice. Actually, Heisen with that recovery stopped that combo yeah, from going any nice. further. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. But I really, I really liked the uh, gravity cancel side stick from Spyrox, and I'm a little disappointed it didn't land. Yeah, it was. What are you gonna fresh. do? I like that. Okay, Coco, actually the most damaged person on the field. He's off on the side of the stage, dodging both uh, edge guard attempts from Red Team. Makes it back up on top. He's got the banana lance. Let's see if he can get some potassium onto his uh, enemies. Which <laughs> could be good for their cramps, but bad for their stocks. And we'll see if it works out for him here. Spyrox, nice dodge. The dodge the weapon throw makes it back to the top of the stage. Has to find his way to oh! a weapon spot. He doesn't need that it! That was insane! I can't believe it, dude! And they got the double! And he, oh, oh, my wow. God! Wow! Huge team play that there from Coco so and Spyrox. Sick. Dude, was and that off the sideline? Even, even Who's ready that quickly? Immortal would have just been chomping at the bit to get a new weapon, but Spyrox knew. He had situational awareness, 2v2, uh, amazing player. He's like, I'm going to be in the position to catch this. That was send. freaking awesome. That was so, so nasty. Oh, oh, Coco, crazy dude. off of the edge of the stage. Whoa. Okay, he whoa, was looking for early stock. Spyrox, Spyrox comes it in for the finish. We he tried to get a save. Oh! What? what in the world? That was an, an insane scramble to to snuff dude, out that we stock need from that. Simple. We need to see that in the slowest of motion to understand. <laughs> Coco and Spyrox traded back and forth who was taking over control of the yeah, edge guard to make Spyrox it work. Yeah, and Spyrox came in like, and just, <laughs> just ruined it every, Actually insane. Everybody. This that is was insane. huge. Not dude, only is Heisen the most game. damaged person on their second stock, Simple is the only one on his last stock. And there goes Heisen joining him on his final stock as well. Two stock lead, basically full for Coco and Spyrox. They got the desync for a second there, but Simple keeps himself away from the action just long enough for his teammate to come back. And let's see if that can provide Woo! some relief, oh, dealing out some damage. Can he make it? Okay. This is a huge game one so far for Coco and Spyrox. Looking really good to close this out. But Simple and Heisen are one of the most uh, winningest teams in the EU region. Probably that's the a, second most, honestly. The second most. Second most. Second most. Second most. Fair enough. Uh, which makes them always a threat here in the bracket. They have, they, a, they have a history of winning. Yes. That's for sure. And that, that means a lot. You, the power rankings would have you believe that this is extremely even. And honestly, the power rankings are right. Oh, oh, get oh. some both? That's, that's the dream. The Why dream. Did they KO? That's oh, the dream. If it had knocked out Heisen, oh, that would have been the KO. Dude, the match there. isn't over, but we're already looking at the replay. That's how good it was. Oh, Dude, wow. GG. Coco and Spyrox. And Spyrox is balling. He's out there balling. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Look at, hold on. Is this the side? Look at this. Look yes. at this. Look at this. Unarmed. Off the neutral, the neutral air. Dude, Spyrox, come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, that's such good. You got to be, I mean, th this it's a, it's a big difference between the game modes, right, of 1v1 and 2v2. Is yeah. 1v1, one one one, you're so focused on uh, on a single goal, but in 2v2, he keeps his eye on his teammate and what he yeah, is up he's to. he's got chameleon eyes. How he's, can looking, he, he's looking in both directions at once. Yeah, how can he play off his teammate and really maximize on what no, his but, partner is but doing? It, seriously, it's not, just, it's not just reacting to your teammate or paying attention to your teammate. It's, it's knowing what your teammate's gonna do right he knew oh, and even then he the absolutely the knew hill. that coco was going to do a side light neutral air like he knew neutral air was coming after this he put himself in position to punish off of it he was absolutely correct in his predictions and executed perfectly that's um, the kind of that's 2v2 man that's what doubles is all about Okay, we got a character swap from Heisen onto Mirage now. Let's oh, see what he can what? do with this Scythe Mirage. here in two space. What in the world? I'm interested to see it. They got a team combo. The ground pound doesn't hit, but they got some good damage onto Heisen. And Simple is the most damaged person on the field. The neutral signature not going to land there, but that might have been the stock. And the uppercut closes it out. That's an early stock, man. Oh, my gosh. Onto Simple, no less. Dude, I'll be real. Yeah. When we saw this. Be real. I was like, Heisen and Simple are going to win this. Like, this isn't yeah, well. even. I'm going to do what I can as a caster to make people believe that it can go either <laughs> oh, way. Okay, but I yeah. know that Simple and Heisen are going to win this. And 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 I, I was wrong. Oh. I was wrong. This this could actually go either way. And in fact, oh Wait, my oh, god! The ground pound was I, a good. That was a good option. For that Spyrox. was a good option. It was, it was a, a few frames away from oh, it. Working the double. The double! 
Okay, there Tyson, we go. Simple. Oh, man. They put a bandage on that bleed really quick, and now they're back into this set. Okay, Dude, they can tie the set up yeah, right this here. this is such an even match. I love it. Yeah, we're the just in game two. The double again, Spyrox takes advantage. What? No, oh, no what? way! Oh, <laughs> that was so sick! That Gosh. was so sick! Dude, it doesn't matter oh, if you're man. on the ground or in the air. They are prepared to take your stock. What in the world, dude? I can't believe these guys are pulling that off. That is such a dream for any 2v2 player. You, they, you wish you and your teammate were doing that kind of stuff. You dude. wish, okay? You I get wish. it. You wish. No, no. Me and you were doing I didn't that say stuff. I wish, okay? You're projecting. You're and right. It's hurting my feelings. You're right. <laughs> Code is always like, we I wish train. we practiced team combos like Coco is Fire Rocks, dude. I'm busy casting. <laughs> okay, here we go. Game state has changed, but we still got the lead on the favor of Coco and Spyrox Rocks. And Heisen is in dire straits. Yeah, Heisen's straight. about to get knocked out. It's not looking good for uh, Simple and Heisen here. But even if they lose this one, they still got the opportunity for a reverse sweep. Oh, look at no look at the way! way. So no, good. How they're too they, good! There's so many different situations they're prepared for somehow. And somehow. the thing is, they, they're, they're playing so close to each other, you could you could easily mess it up by hitting your teammate with right. a hitbox, putting them in stun, they, stopping they, the combo. So oh, Whoa! Heisen! Huge, huge, what huge. What a huge. play! That what was a play! Possibly the play of the game if they can pull this off. If they, they need. If they can pull this off, that absolutely was the play of the game. 2v1 Synergy is needed right now to pull this together. They're trailing way behind in damage. With Spyrox has the tough. opportunity. What they got in the tank? That's oh! enough to do it. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe they did it, dude. We have got to rewind it back to that Heisen knockout oh. right at the last second. That was insane. I can't believe Heisen and Simple came away with this victory. I mean, look at this. We're, we're showing the Coco and Spyrox highlights because it seemed like they should have won that one, but. But wait a second, because then Heisen grabs the spear. Hold on, he grabs the spear. He takes his opponent way up into the sky. Wait, hold on, way up into the sky. Here it comes. Oh, look, dude, Coco was in yellow. That's He's, disgusting. That's insane, and then they jump, oh, boom, boom. Oh, what a finish, huge. dude. I, simple, yeah, yeah, yeah rewind yeah, yeah, that. One more, time, <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Bro, I can't believe. Yeah, neutral light. Downlight side Damn. air, side signature. Woo! That was crazy. They took oh, man. Now, I will say, though, Coco, we saw from the, the highlights, Heisen actually swapped his character again now to Hattori. I can't but believe that. Why did he do that? All the highlights were Coco and Spyrox, which was showing their domination in game two. But the, the ending, last highlight, though. That shows the experience <laughs> of Heisen and Sybil. They claimed both those stocks literally as early as they possibly could in both situations. That's exactly what you need to do. It doesn't get much more clutch than that, dude. They were, they were down by a lot. I mean, it was a, it was like a joke to think that they could come yeah. back from that. And somehow, I mean, Heisen with that miraculous knockout up off on the top onto Coco, that was insane. And then uh, the awesome team combo finisher from Hi from Ooh, Simple to finish pound? it off. My God, I'm okay. Still, now in game three, I can't pay attention to game three. That Heisen last one I was Simple so are sick. In the lead, dude. It was so sick, dude. I'm still, I just can't get over it, man. That was. Incredible. I know. At this point, I thought we were going to be looking at a 2-0 and, like, potentially the end of the set. But it is a tied set, and this is going to be a banger here. Okay, now the stocks are tied up. Damage is fairly even across both teams on Demon Island. Huge potential for edge guards. That recovery hitting the corner uh, pocket, not enough to do it. But the down signature will blast him away. And now one stock lead for Simple and Heisen. But it is a tentative lead because this stock has been heavily damaged. I know. I don't believe leads anymore after that yeah, last yeah, yeah. Well, game. It's leads are just, they're, 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 they're misleading, you might say. <laughs> you, you could, you might, and you, you might, should. But, but nobody should. <laughs> don't do it, though. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, now the thing you don't want to have happen against Spyrox and Coco is to desync your stocks because they're so good at those 2v1 combos that... Uh-oh. Oh, wait a second. 2v1 combo. Okay, Spyrox has to punch his teammate out of that combo, which is sometimes the favorable option. I, get what, I get what you're saying about the desyncing stocks, yeah. though. Yeah, if you lose the stock, like, while you're coming back, your teammate might just get 2v1 combos. It's absolutely to cooked, but... So far, oh, Simple whoa. and Heisen, Wait, what? Dude, they're doing the awesome. cooking now. Double, and that'll clinch oh, out the stock. Oh, that was awesome. Dude, from Simple, I, okay, so uh, obviously we've seen unarmed slide kick to neutral signature. That's a pretty common gravity cancel neutral signature. It's a great finish. 
but dude, Simple went for the more optimal finish because of the high ceiling on the stage. He did unarmed slide kick, jump, gravity cancel, down sick, the break dance. Nobody does that. What in the world? But it was better for the situation that he was in. It was more optimal. I think the neutral sig might not have finished, but he gets a down sig, and it did finish. And like that makes Simple awesome. I don't know what else to say. Simple, he's amazing. This is a whole new set. The energy from that last win has changed everything. Okay, they still have the one stock lead, and uh -oh. now two oh, stocks quick goes up. out. It's all up to Spyrox here, and I okay, don't huge. know, man. Spyrox? I don't know. Look at him. Oh, okay, he was really going for it. There's look, no way look he made at it back. Him. Look yeah. at him. I mean, that's the thing is sometimes GG. you have to, when you're in that situation, you have to play with a mindset of like, I need to hit everything and if everything hits, I'll win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? We've seen it happen before. Yeah. So we, we, it's not like outside of the realm of possibility. It's just when you're in these matches against top tier opponents, there's that, there's that gravity cancel breakdance. Oh, about. yeah. Same. Okay. Um, and then right into gets the dodge there, and so he knows so, that the double so is free. Ready for it. He's, he doesn't even he doesn't even go up there. He knows it's over. Simple, just so prepared for any eventuality here. On to the next one. Wait a second. Spyrox has changed his skin yet again. <laughs> yeah, I love Not his legend. But he has every Wu Shang skin, obviously, <laughs> and he's going to show it off here today. Wait, Wait another early stock. Oh, no, he ran out of juice. Yeah, almost. All his mana was spent just to get him up there and, and finish it off. <laughs> Oh, nice interruption by Coco. That was beautiful. But what a change of pace game three was. I mean, Heisen and Simple barely scraped by in game two and then total domination in game three. Now in game four, we need to see a resurgence from blue team. Spyrox and Coco have to come back here to give, give us a game five. Can we get one on stream, please? Have we not had a game five no, yet? No, dude. That's well, a, not for us. That's, that's, Maybe that's, other heart, people. that's heartbreaking. You All know, right. Like, Coco and Spyrox I get the first stock. Nice we, fades low to uh, escape that ground pound. They've got the double yeah. team. No, the side air just barely over the top. Does he get the damage? Time. Spyrox. Oh, I mean, <laughs> not Spyrox. Simple comes in with the interruption. Okay, Spyrox so heavily damaged, dodges that down signature. That would have KO'd him times a thousand, but still holding on to this first stock. Yeah, I'm looking at Heisen, who's the only one to have lost the stock yet, mean, meaning he's playing behind from everybody else, but he's got oh. an opportunity to be very aggressive while he's got low damage on him. And oh no, Coco with a friendly fire knockout on his own teammate. Coming back to the stage. Heisen looking for the finishing blow. On to Coco. Coco makes it back to the stage. Nicely done. Damage on to Simple. Coco still letting it rip. Still hasn't lost his stock. Takes the stock from Simple. And he is still rocking. Okay, Coco. Yeah, he gets not. He can't survive too many more hits like that. But still holding on to his first stock. And any damage he gets is really extra credit at this point because they've got Heisen so heavily damaged on his second stock. They've got a nice lead secured. Even in this situation, they need to have a big team play here. Spyrox stays out of the action, gets clipped a couple of times, but Coco already back, armed up with the Rocket Lance, the Banana Guard from Adventure Time. One of the silliest rock, probably the silliest. Well, there's a couple silly um, Rocket Lances. I think that might take the take the win for silliest weapon in the game. He definitely, with this skin pick and this Rocket Lance, he is just like right, DMing his way. Cast your votes in chat. What is the silliest weapon in the game? If it's if oh. it's if it's not Princess Bubblegum's Banana Lance, uh, what 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 in the world is it? Yeah, we're open to other weapon skins. I actually don't know. We've got <laughs> there's too there's too many. We've gotten a little too crazy over the years, <laughs> but that's okay. Heisen, the only one on his last stock. Spyros could join him quickly here, but no, he's still claiming stocks of his own. He's got the uppercut. Now, Simple and Heisen both relegated to their final stocks. Two stock lead for Spyrox and Coco. Can they keep this going? Heisen Whoa, and Simple what? actually. Wait, what? Spyrox and Coco need this to bring us to game five, which would be incredible, and I'm a believer. That's what we need. We, Somehow, yeah, the, game five, the game five what? will Nair, find a way. Nair into gravity cancel side signature. I don't think I've ever seen that. The ground pound connects. He's going for a double edge guard here. They both fight their way back up on top. Somehow, Heisen damage in trouble, damage. claims the stock. Ooh, okay, Spyrox down to his final stock. Coco and Spyrox still ahead by a significant margin. It's looking good for the game five, Steven. <gasps> Coco, what, oh, what a, a play save. No. with a save from it Heisen. Enough? It's not enough. Is Can he actually going to? Oh, oh. they. They went for the craziest save yeah. sequence that there has ever been, but it's it did not work out. Steven, yeah. Steven, wait a second. We yes. are in game five, dude. I game knew it. five. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. Finally. Finally, Finally a game, game five, five, dude. Like, I don't even, like, nothing even really counts till you're in game five, I think.
Yeah, this is exactly what we were looking for. Coco, Chase dodged enough to make it back to the stage. Heisen comes in to provide some relief. Dude, the ground that was nuts. Up both that of was them. nuts. And then you weapon can see throw. these guys, that weapon throw, and Heisen was like, okay, I'm going to save you, buddy. But then he's like, wait a second, ah, I don't have any other. It's a yeah. But if he had his recovery, we, he absolutely would have got, got that save. It is so tough. There are situations in which we've seen players off stage kind of hit each other, chase dodge, juggle themselves back to stage, containing themselves in a combo, but didn't work out there for him. But that's perfect for us. If you're viewing and you want some more epic esports action, we're delivering it right here in yeah. game five. Luck luckily. It Luckily is going to be a good one. All set Do we up have, like, is this like a hierarchy of scale here for who does the most damage? That's so cool. When did we start doing that? It's not? It's, it's, it's. The it's, render's weird? It's not. All right. Just, I had, I had chat convinced just, that we had tech that had never been seen before, but. Kobo yeah, did no, do the most damage, that's just, so. That's just, dude, that's just, uh, that's, that's the lore. That's the sale, the size scaling. Poe? You think he's big, but not not as big not as Olgrim. A, yeah, <laughs> Olgrim, even though he's a dwarf, is like <laughs> eight feet tall. Yeah, he's actually much shorter than everybody. But anyway, on to the next one. Dude, we're in a game five. Okay, and for anybody who doesn't know what that means, it means that, well, we're on the fifth game of the set. No, but it, it means that it's down to the last bit. We're down to the wire. Someone's going to win this match, and it's yeah. going to be the winner of this game. Whatever happens, no matter what, the winner of this game is moving on to the next round of the tournament, and the loser of this game that's happening right now is out of the tournament in fifth place. Yeah, this is huge. Okay, <laughs> I love the chart. <laughs> you gotta believe in yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is such a Wuxiang move. If nothing else, you gotta bet on yourself, and that's exactly what Spyrox did there. I mean, it might work out. Somebody might try to come punish you, and you'll get a hit off on it. Heisen and Simple trailing behind in damage. Oh, oh that was beautiful! Nice Heisen down to his second stock. Nicely done by Coco and Spyrox. Okay, the recovery breaks things up. Spyrox on the edge of the stage. Oh no, Simple was positioning himself to get that edge guard, but he got knocked out himself, and now both red team members are onto their final stock, or second stocks, rather. Not final stocks, that would be crazy. That would be too crazy. Okay, Spyrox falls as well. Coco, the last man left on three stocks. Just trying to avoid any conflict here. Actually deals some damage of his own. That was a great situation for him to just maintain positioning of his stock in the, the game state while his teammate was coming back. Oh, tries to float down with uh, the help of Crane, Poe. Doesn't connect, and everybody onto their second stocks. Now we've got a dead even race here in game five. You couldn't ask for anything better than this. Oh, nice follow-up by Heisen. He's looking for the finish on the Spy Rocks. A little bit of friendly fire, but nobody's nobody's complaining about that. Uh-oh. Spy Rocks Spy disarmed? Rocks. He barely survives that attack. He is disarmed, as you said, and he gets knocked out. Unfortunate, because this weapon's about to get stolen by Heisen. Oh, what dude, a follow the neutral state. I dude, can't do that in KO, any though. Little, any little thing, he's like, oh, hit's done? Finisher. He's always ready for that combo, no matter oh, what. Look, and back and forth, Spyrox equally ready to follow up on his teammate, claims another stock, and now they got a one stock lead. One stock lead in game five is a nice place to be, but it's not a guarantee. Whoa, oh, dude, oh, Coco was, just yeah. saved Spyrox's yeah, yeah. life big time, big time. Yeah, they could have been. That Whoa, was so at, clutch. Okay, but did you see the target swap from Coco? He's yeah. hitting everybody oh, on the field perfectly. Dude, uh oh, we're down into the final moments Coco of this is game. Coco popping and off even so hard. Though Coco and Spyrox are technically in the lead by stocks, it's a little fuzzy because Spyrox is very, very yeah, damaged. Yeah, now they there got goes the Coco. 2v1, Spyrox they has need to survive. Guard. He didn't get oh, no, it. he couldn't get through. Okay. It's a 1v2. Coco's got to win this against Simple and Heisen. And honestly, this I don't is, know if I, it's possible, man. This is actually pretty crazy because I thought they had it clinched, but now Coco left by himself against his team. They've got plenty of health. Uh, to survive a couple of these big hits that uh, this Olgrim can deal out. And they've got the potential for this 2v1 combo. Do they have something in their back pocket? Heisen putting the pressure on up high with the spear. Simple trying to find his way into the fray. Coco fighting his way through with his banana lance. Okay, deals damage to both opponents. Now he's got them both in red at knockout percentage. He could get a stock and have a huge advantage here. They need to have both bodies on the field if Red Team has any chance of winning this, this in is, Game this 5. This could still go either way, man. This is insane. Oh, nice follow-up. Nice engagement. Okay, Coco just doesn't want to be between Ooh. them. Anywhere but between them. Oh, okay, he just got disarmed. disarmed. Oh, this is bad. What? No! no! Was, no! was that on purpose? No! Simple. That would have knocked out! Dude, oh my gosh, was that, that the greatest knocked save out. of all time? Oh my gosh! Unbelievable! No! Unbelievable! I think that 
was the difference maker. That that might have changed the course of victory in that match, dude. That was he throw wait a second. changed everything. We gotta see the replay. Oh my god. Was he gosh. weapon starving, swapping oh onto a new my weapon? Gosh. Or was that an intentional save? Because that was kind of the nuttiest save I've ever that seen. Was if so. so insane. Okay, here it comes, here, here it comes, go. here it comes, here it now, comes. Now, some say this is some weapon starving technique, but I Look don't know. At this. That's oh! so good, dude. Bro! This, it would be over. It would be over. Oh, look at this. Yeah, let's Coco get another view. Coco would have gotten that hit. He would have chased Dodge uh. off of it, and then it was a totally possible 1v1 after that. But no Hi. chance, because Simple with the greatest save we've ever seen in a top eight finish, that was it. What a game five. Ladies and gentlemen, that was insane. Heisen and Simple are moving on to the next round of top eight. Whew. Wow, seriously, Whew. by the slimmest of mar like one well-placed weapon throw away from victory? Like how often does it come down to like that It was difference? such a defining moment. It was such a defining, there wasn't enough slow-mo and rewinding we could do to really exemplify oh just how gosh. insane that one weapon throw was to the outcome of the match.